Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So why do the update take so long time to install? Many of you might have the same question. So Windows 11 or even Windows 10 update take a while to complete because Microsoft is constantly adding the larger file and feature to them. And it take even longer if you have a fragmented or nearly filled hard drive or SSD. In addition to the large file and numerous feature included in Windows update, Internet speed can also significantly affect the installation time. This is especially true if your network is being overburdened by multiple people downloading the update at the same time or running multiple other applications consuming the bandwidth. So now let's see what you can do to speed up your Windows 11 or even Windows 10 update. So the very first thing that I would recommend you to free up the space in your drive as many windows update take up a lot of space in your hard drive you need to leave enough room to them this means deleting the file and uninstalling software you no longer need the so better clear some space now to even have some extra space and storage what you can do you can bring up the file explorer look over to your main drive that is your primary drive where the windows has been installed where the update is going to be installed and you have to assure that you have the enough space here in case if you have a space around 20 gigabyte or 30 gigabyte then make sure you free some more space here the maximum space you will keep free in this drive the maximum performance you will be getting all right in order to clear the space what you can do you can right click on the windows icon go to the settings from the system you have to click on the storage and in the storage here it will list you all kind of categories occupying the space in your drive now you can basically start from the temporary file Click on it and it will list you all kind of categories that is occupying the space. So what you can do according to your need, like you can choose between the download and the recycle bin. If you need the download, but if you want to delete the recycle bin, then check it. Keep the other option checked here and then you have to click on remove file. Click continue and it will start deleting all the temporary file from your device. All right. Similarly, you can go back and check other categories here like document, installed application, other, OneDrive and find your own self what are the stuff here that you don't need. Next, you need to optimize the network. This is another major cause behind the slow Windows update where if you have the slow internet connection or the speed, your update also will go slow. So better try to switch to a LAN connection if you are still using the Wi-Fi and also try restarting your router, your modem and the computer. Once you are done with this, there are few commands that I would recommend you to run. So click on your Windows search, type CMD. Right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. And the first command will be ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Now it will be clearing all the DNS cache and very useful command. So hit the enter key. Next will be NETSH space Winsock space reset. Again hit the enter key. And it will ask you to restart the computer. So let's complete all the command. Next you have to type NETSH space INT space TCP space set space global auto tuning level equal to normal. And hit the enter key. And you will find the OK message. And this will basically enable the TCP auto tuning, which will be, of course, improving the internet connection on your computer. And now the last command will be INT space TCP space set space global congestion provider equal to CTCP. And again, hit the enter key. Now this command will also enable the compound TCP congestion, which will be helping your uh, internet connection. And all this command, guys, I will leave in the description so you can simply copy and paste. And now finally, you have to click on your Windows search, type GP edit, click on edit group policy. Now, in case if you are using Windows 11 or 10 home edition, probably you will not be able to open the group policy editor. Now for this, I have already created a video that how you can enable the group policy editor on the home edition. Watch that video, enable the group policy editor, then follow the steps here. So here from the left hand side under the computer configuration, you have to click on administrative template. Then from the right hand side, you have to look for network, double click on it. And in the network, you have to look for QoS packet scheduler. Once you get it, make a double click on it again. 
and here you will find an option limit reservable bandwidth make a double click on it again and another box will be up now basically this will be selected to not configured you have to select to enable below it will ask you the bandwidth limit and by default the bandwidth limit should be selected to 80 percent here and this is a kind of a cap here that is used to limit the uh, bandwidth limit for the windows update now what we can do here we can temporarily increase it so that we can get the faster speed for downloading the update but keep in mind this setting you need to only enable once you have to update it and once you have updated you need to again come back to here and change the value or revert the action mm -hmm. all right so let's say i can make it to 95 and i can click on apply and click on okay after that i can go ahead and restart my computer and then i can try updating my windows and once windows has been finally updated again you can come back to the same option here and again change the bandwidth limit to 80 which was previously then click on ok and now you can close it okay so these are the best thing that you can do in order to faster your windows update now additionally one more thing i would recommend you that while updating your windows what you can do you can click on your windows search type resource and click on resource monitor from the top here you have to click on the network tab and you need to look here for the application that is occupying the maximum bandwidth like on my end you can see chrome.exe is occupying the maximum bandwidth so what you have to do while updating your windows if you want that it should be updated faster getting the more bandwidth then you need to close the other application that is sharing the bandwidth okay so chrome.exe i can just go ahead and right click on it and click on it process or you can manually open the chrome and close it similarly look for the other application here go ahead and close them and once the application will be reduced here that is consuming the bandwidth all this bandwidth will be utilized by the windows update and your windows update will be updating faster so that's all guys for today and hopefully after applying all these solution you will be uh, surely find some difference in the speed while updating your windows if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and if you have any question any problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye